Hi everyone and welcome to Shannon and Mel's World of Bookish Adventures. Uh, today we're going to do a vlog and actually I'm going to do a book review. Uh, Shannon is driving. As you can see. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do a book review on uh, the book that I just recently finished uh, by Jay Asher. And that is What Light. It was a really good read. Uh, it was about this girl Sierra who lives in Oregon and for half of the year she goes to a um, well for a month out of the year she goes to California to work at a Christmas tree lot that her family owns uh, around the holidays so um, in the meantime she meets this guy Caleb and so she in, she meets him in California and so she is struggling between the life she has in Oregon and the life she has in California it is a really good book. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I would say four out of five. I think it would be a good movie for Hallmark to do if there was a Hallmark movie. Uh, so I enjoyed it very much. Um, and I love Hallmark movies, so that would have been a really good um, Hallmark movie. But some of the movies are a little cheesy for me on the Hallmark channel. I love Hallmark movies, but... My favorite ones were Toy Story Christmas, and um, I also liked Ice Sculpture Christmas, and A Home by Christmas, which some of those might have been on Lifetime, too, so I, and those are my favorite. They were really, it's heartwarming movies that touch the heart, of course, like The Christmas Carol and, and movies like that, but I also wanted to talk today about, um, because I, I am... Um, reading or reviewing a book by Jay Asher. He also wrote 13 Reasons Why. So I thought we'd talk about reading responsibly and what that means to to be a responsible reader. And uh, do we as a booktube community have a responsibility to um, kind of advise individuals on triggers when there are triggers in books such as the one for 13 reasons why everybody knows there is a trigger for suicide um, and dealing with some mental health aspects and issues um, in everyday life with individuals and so that that was something I, I had been thinking about I don't know it's a you know I'm not a parent but I do have two nieces that I just treasure so if I was going to go and buy a book of course and knowing what they've been through in their life and what they go through in their everyday life then I'd probably make sure to to steer them away from certain books especially I talked to you in my R.L. Stein book review about if you are over the age of 18 you know you're an adult read whatever genre whatever age book you want to read it doesn't matter how old you are I'm 43 and I love YA contemporary books and uh so that's a genre that I tend to, to go to, but uh, as, as a community, are we responsible for individuals and what they read? And uh, people sometimes don't like to read spoilers and on the back of the books, or, or they don't like to read the synopsis because they're afraid to, that they're going to be spoiled. So they will end up saying, I don't want to be spoiled, but then they'll read the book and then there'll be a, a trigger. So to me, I think it's a responsibility of the reader to read responsibly, know a little bit about what you're reading and know if there are triggers because books um, will give you kind of a synopsis in general of if there are triggers. Right, Shannon? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, didn't you say that there were some on the backs too? Mm -hmm. Like um, little at the bottom of the book not necessarily in a synopsis yeah that they'll tell you mm -hmm. yeah you can't show the back of a car with their license plate <laughs> so uh, but um, there are ways that you can without being spoiled you can find out if there are any triggers for abuse or suicide or things of that nature of course obviously 13 reasons why is a very popular book so people 
know that there's a trigger warning for suicide. And this book, uh, it what light? It was a very light-hearted book. Um, no trigger warnings um, in the book. It wasn't as um, heavy of a book to read as 13 Reasons Why. So, I'll just leave it at that. But it was a very good book and I enjoyed reading it. And uh, I guess that's the main thing you want to do is you just want to read responsibly. And I know that that's kind of hard. Um, there are books out there that I would like to read in the LGBTQ community that... I'll probably get into the next book that I'm hoping to get into. Uh, I also recently bought um, The Snow Child. And I am interested to see what this is going to be. And it'll be a little sad because I don't have children. And it is about this couple that has that can't have children. And they, they long to have a daughter. And there is uh, they build a snowman. Or Snow Girl, and she, I guess from my understanding, turns into a, a child at, at Christmas time. So, this will be a really good book. It might be hard for me personally to get through because of the things I've been through in my life and not being able to have children and everything. So, that might be a little difficult, but uh, uh, I'm looking forward to that book. I also have uh, Amazon is bringing. Skipping Christmas by John Grisham to me, the hardback cover. So, I am excited about that book. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to Starbucks and we're going to meet up with some friends. And we're excited to see them. We, there are some friends that come from out of town and we are just so glad that we're getting to see them. So, And I will see you in a few minutes. Hi everyone, we're at Starbucks. <laughs> Hi. And I, I'm going to try to read some of uh, the paperback copy of John Grisham's Skipping Christmas, which I'm going to read. Uh, I'm getting the hardback copy today from Amazon. Yay! I'm excited. So I'm going to get me a peppermint mocha frappuccino and just enjoy some time with some friends. And we'll see you later. Bye. Well, we've had a pretty fun day, haven't we, honey? Really nice day. Hi everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> you can see in Shannon right now. <laughs> we just came back from uh, hanging out with our friends at Starbucks and going to a bunch of other stores. It's Christmas time. So we did that. Yeah, the stores are all lit up. Oh, come over to a really, really nice shot too. And our favorite store. <laughs> it's like a winter wonderland. <laughs> we'll see you soon, guys. 